welcome to the channel, uh, all about the Blues Harmonica, so thumbs up and subscribe. This is the second little tutorial series I'm doing on um, how to get the best out of playing. The first one I started talking about habits, go back to part one, this is part two. Uh, so uh, seems to be a little bit of interest there, so I'll continue with it for a short while anyway. Uh, as long as people keep uh, tuning in, I'll, I'll keep doing a couple. Um, Alright, so... What you heard there was me playing over a swing track. Now there's a lot of bullshit to talk about swing, particularly on blues harmonica, particularly with blues players and all the rest of it. Um, but uh, swing, yeah, that's the uh, can be a little bit of a problem if you don't listen to swing. So I suggest that even as a blues player, listen to modern jazz, listen to um, listen predominantly to modern jazz for your swing or Check out an album called uh, Songs for Swinging Lovers, Frank Sinatra, because his timing is unbelievable and it is one of the greatest albums he ever did. So uh, if you want to learn the great American songbook, just listen to Sinatra as I did many years ago as a, many, many years ago as a jazz saxophonist. You have to nail all these standards down and um, Sinatra is the man for that kind of thing. So swing, it's a very, very simple idea I was doing there. I'm going to give you the, before I talk about some little tips for you, I'll just give you this. Um, C harp. Um, one draw, two draw all the way down, two draw. Two draw again. Three to half step, four blow. Uh, four draw bend, four draw, five draw, four draw again. Uh, four blow, three to half step, bend, two draw. I just slide it back there. You can do. You can just go straight to it. Um, you can put this in. One draw, two draw, all the way down, two draw. And then repeat. Then uh, two draw, three to half step, bend, four blow. do that, two draw, three draw, half step, bend, four blow, three draw, half step, two draw. Now you'll see that when I play, I'll change it. I'll do it differently every time because that's what improvisers do. If we're playing on our front line with somebody else on an instrument and you have to play damn straight, then you'll play straight because obviously you play the harmony with others at the front of you. But if you're playing ahead of a tune, you'll, then you'll play probably straight unless everybody plays the same inflection. But when you, uh, you won't come across any improviser that when he goes, he or she goes to play straight off will play the same tune twice because they just won't do it. And I'm no different. It's not even that I want to, my brain gets bored and so I want to do, uh, do that. Okay, last bit. Uh, four draw, bend, four draw, five draw, four draw. Three to half step. Three to half step uh, to two draw. Four. Uh, I just put a little block chord in there, but that's just that there's just the notes. Okay, so a very simple, simple thing to play over a swing chin. Uh, a few little jazzy chords in it, a couple more chords in it, but it's it's essentially a blues. You could get around it without playing uh, the extra chords. I play all the extra chords in it, but you could actually get around it for now, just playing a straight sort of blues format, but. Learning to swing is just something that um, it comes with time and it comes with an awful lot of listening. You've got to listen to swing. Um, this business about off the beat, on the beat, all this business. Ignore all that rubbish and just uh, just do an awful lot of listening. You, know, you can't just wake up in the morning and play swing not knowing anything about it. That's the, I tell all the people that I coach. All right. Now with the swing track that I'm using there, with just the, the, the voicings on the ham and the organ is good because you can't really hear the bass and that is an issue when you're trying to play swing because the most important thing when you're trying to play swing is listening to the bass player, not the drummer. Although you are listening to every member of the band. Of course you are because you react off all of it. 
So, um, and, and to, get the, to get the swing line. Spontaneity, what you heard at the start here. You know, there's no, there's no patterned line in there at all. I'm just running the line. Just running down what I see as a very, very, very basic way, framework uh, melodic line. And because the voicings are good, it sounds naturally in the pockets to give me some kind of stimulus, but I could do with a little bit more because sometimes you want more of a groove when you haven't got that that type of uh, bass player in, or, or you haven't, or you're using pedals or whatever. Okay, so but obviously when you're playing when straight blues, when you've got this sort of you know you've got the uh, you know you've got the, a, a groove that 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 figure going on then that lends you into playing a, a different way, okay, and more into the, the blues licks used in a different way, more emphasis, more power, one thing or another. And with that track, that's probably one of the reasons I didn't mic up, was because um, if I mic'd up, because I couldn't, if I was micing up to make it sound a bit more gritty and all the rest of it, I couldn't, I couldn't, hear, I couldn't hear the line to want to swing off it, okay, these are things that I coach, so Kind of important when you come to swing. You hear a lot of bullshit on the net about um, oh off the beat, behind the beat, and all this, and this is this, and this is that with swing. Bullshit, as I said, the most surefire way of learning to swing is go and listen to an awful lot of modern jazz. Listen to swing, and as I said, songs for swinging lovers, Frank Sinatra. Go and listen to that because that is absolutely impeccable, and you will understand swing. If you don't like swing, then you won't listen to it, will you? Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of people playing other genres that then try to play swing. Um, and, you know, I just there's a quick, very very quick take I played at the start here. I'm just trying to show a line running through it. So even though you make uh, an improviser will make a thousand mistakes, unless he homes it down for a professional performance, you know you've got to sit the swing. Okay, and, and blues groove is is a slightly different thing. Because you're wanting that figure, you're wanting that drive, and you're wanting that figure. Here's the next tip: um, when you're going to work out on a harmonica, whether you've just started out as a youngster, young kid, or if you're an older guy, don't worry, don't worry about it. It's, it's all good. It doesn't matter when you start. You can get good on this thing fairly soon. That's that is for sure. Um, you know, make sure the odds are in your favour, so you don't get depressed. So when you set goals set very very realistic ones and your aim is to gain satisfaction from very very small in increments never look ahead and say uh, by there like this time i want to be at this or that time i want to be that forget all that you've got to absolutely nail down to live in the moment you have to live in the moment and when you uh, pick up the musical instrument to uh, work out on something remember Nothing else matters. You focus down now. Don't bother yourself with what family, friends, neighbours, you know, what, whatever. That's gone now. You're going to climb into this little world, and you might only be working on one note. You might just be doing this. You might only be going. Who's just playing that? You know, it doesn't matter what you're doing or something complex. Just climb into that area and try, just like meditation, try and take everything else out of the mind apart from the little time frame that you're going to deal with this, okay? And gain satisfaction from extremely small increments, all right? Don't set your task on, don't think too far ahead. These motivations are very, very important to keep you going. You have to have imagination, of course. Um, of course, as Albert Einstein said, you know, imagination is more important than knowledge. Um, that was his uh, um, understanding. And um, as an artist, yeah, we get that. Um, of course it is. But you must be going at really small. You, you don't want to be seeing the change, you know. Uh, for example, we go to the chess player. They learn to do automatic moves, don't they? They learn to log and do lots of automatic moves for ages and ages and ages. Then the challenge comes later down the road. So they can work off automatic until they get down to the challenge. And it's the same with this. Just like at the start with that extremely quick take I did there, I just put a track on and played it over a swing track acoustically. 
Um, what I'm just trying to do is just trying to free myself up and, 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 and absorb into the, that movement from the hand. I'm not thinking about anything really. I'm just trying to, you know, there's no set formula for what I'm doing here. Okay, so that's how, that's how um, you're opening yourself up, you're opening yourself up from the states, of course you are. Um, but that's the natural way to learn. Okay, and uh, that's something that I, I coach on. But for this little uh, tutorial, there's that little tune at the front. You can learn that. You might have to go over the video a few times because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm deliberately uh, phlegmatic when it comes to those things. I do it deliberately with my students as well because I want them to work. I don't want to give people something on a plate because you're not doing anybody any favours. You've got to do it yourself. That's what it's all about. If you love this thing, if you love music, as I do, I've loved music all my life, um, then you will engage and you will do well. Um, depression comes from um, setting goals that are impossible, setting goals that are not realistic, um, and understanding that um, you know it's not about genes when it comes to playing music uh, or, or age. It's, it's down to it's basically down to you. Uh, uh, making your uh, fundamental decisions to play and um, and if it, once you grasp that and get that right life becomes very easy but you've got to open up and l get rid of these uh, inhibition challenges that are preventing you from um, from going all the way to the top it's um, as I say music isn't rocket science it's uh, it's a uh, it's quite a it's, it's just a, it's just a language that you um, you have to um, engross yourself with and um, and you'll do very very well from it okay so that's the tip for today about keeping very very small increments and learn that tune and remember swing music is very different from blues music but blues swing there are it's more or less the same but it's a rhythmic concept and as I go back to the first video if you listen to that and when I talk about how important it is to listen you don't want to be trying to play something that you haven't listened to because you don't really know what you want to play. And that's, that's, that's the very most important thing. Okay, well, if I get some um, interest from this one, I will um, post some more. And hopefully we'll keep this great blues harmonica going. You can get me for lessons on Harper the Healer Wicks. I'll catch you on the rebound.